Hello and welcome. This is Above Average Joe with Above Av Productions, and today we're going to go over how to use Bridge. Uh, it's an Adobe product, but I think it's one that's you know very rarely used, and I guess a lot of people don't know how to use it or just have different workflows. But I wanted to show mine today, so let's hop into it. All right. So here's what you can see is the screen, the default screen for Bridge, and up here you just have a file browser. So as you can see, I'm in the folder that contains some of my images. Now these are all shot in RAW, so they need to be processed by Camera Raw in order for them to even look good. And there's a lot of things you can do with Camera Raw. Uh, now I'm not going to go over those today. This is more just my workflow inside of Bridge, how I get the photos in, how I sort out the ones that I want, and then how I mass export those as JPEG so that I can share. Okay, so inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my rejected files. So when I first come in, it would look like this. I have all these files and, you know, sometimes you have photos that you just don't like or, you know, you just didn't get the right settings on, your aperture, your exposure was wrong. So you can easily get rid of those without actually deleting the file. So if that if you need them in the future, you can still have them. And how you do that is just by selecting a file and then going to label and then reject. Now there's a shortcut key. Whoops, sorry about that. There's a shortcut key for that as well. All you would do is click on it and as it says right there as well, you just alt delete and then that would put it as a rejected file. So when we're viewing it inside a bridge, usually we would view it without the rejected file. So now we're just working with the files that we want to see. So if I have one of these files, what I would do is right click after I have the files that I want and then open in Camera Raw. Now once opened in Camera Raw, there's a lot of things that you can do here. Again, not going to go over those today. There'll be a different tutorial, but simple things like say you wanted to crop this photo and just have that white background. Right, simply, simple and easy. Uh, I don't like kind of how that came out, so I'm just gonna push that over a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so now you can adjust exposure levels, and since it's a raw photo, I, and I really suggest that you shoot in raw, I know that it can be kind of confusing at first, but learn your camera, learn how to use your gear, because there's so much information inside this photo that I can change a lot of things without having it look like it's fake or edited. Shadows and things like that. Again. Not going over that. So after I was done with this photo, I would say done. And it would just come back in here and it'll actually show what we've done there. So it shows the crop. It shows the adjustments. And if I were looking at this file in just my regular file browser, then I would only see the actual raw file itself in the JPEG preview, which would not have all the adjustments and the cropping on it. But looking at it in here is kind of like the same thing as looking at it in Lightroom. So you can do multiple photos at once too, shift or control, right click, open in camera raw. And you have multiple photos here. So I like camera raw a lot just because, you know, I like Lightroom too, but Lightroom seems to be more finicky. It crashes a lot. I think that camera raw is more stable and reliable and you can do almost the same exact thing in both. So once you have all your photos done, everything that you wanted to get completed, you would simply select all of the ones that you have. And then you go up here to tools and there's a bunch of different ways or things to do this. This is just how I do it. So I would go to then to Photoshop and then image processor, click on that guy. It's actually going to bring up Photoshop here. And I hope that doesn't bog down my system too much to where you're not seeing me or I glitch out. That's okay. Even if I do, you should still be able to hear the audio. And when this comes back, you should be able to see all this too. So it's just going to bring up Photoshop, bring up my image processor, and I'm just going to tell it that I want it to save those as JPEGs. You can save them as Photoshop files or TIFFs if you wanted to, either way. But I save them as JPEG with the highest quality of 12. I do not resize them. You can do that if you wanted to. And I just convert them with the profile sRGB. Now it says process from bridge only 43 files and it's going to be located right inside the same folder, but it will make a sub JPEG folder. So if I hit run there, it would run in the background. Everything would just uh, 
gets saved as a JPEG file, also make sure you put the include ICC profile. Just embeds your color profile inside the file. And then I'll have, I'm just going to cancel that because that would take too long, and I've already done that. I'm going to close Photoshop down. Sorry, that, that could bog me down again. Okay, so now we're back here, and it will have created this, which is now your JPEG copies for all your files. And these can go right online, right to Instagram. You know, some of these um, aspect ratios won't work, but that's fine. You can always crop it later or take it back into Photoshop and crop it, or just crop it with a 1 1 in the first place or wherever you're putting it. Just keep that in mind. All right. Well, I hope you, that you've learned something today. Um, and this is just kind of my workflow. I know that a lot of people do it different ways, and there's no really right or wrong way to do it. But I find that doing it this way using Bridge and Camera Raw allows me to go faster than using Lightroom for some reason. And maybe that's just my system in general. But if you didn't know, that there's a different way to do this. All right, thanks for joining me today. Uh, keep an eye out. I will be doing a Camera Raw and a Lightroom tutorial very soon. Thank you so much for joining. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate your time.